We are going to play every stinking quarter. Not a half, not three quarters, four quarters, oh, as man. hard as we can play. Now, let's get after it. Let's win our first conference football game, 1986. Loud and clear, what do we say? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go, baby. There you go. There you go. Be short. Hey. Party seven. There you go. There you go. All right, all right. Call that in, 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 Rick. As always in athletics, that score tells a story. That's what it's all about. It's cut and dried. Rice played a great game. They won. We didn't play very well. We lost. But that's generally the way it is in life. Usually, you earn what you get. You get what you deserve. Rice deserved to win on that particular day. They outplayed us. They outfought us. They outcoached us. And now what we have to do is pick the pieces up and put it back together again. Because you know what? It's a team sport, football, maybe more so a team sport than almost any other sport. And everybody that's part of that team, the players, the coaches, everybody has to take their share of the responsibility when things go wrong. And instead of just laying down and dying, now is when you find out what you're made of. Now you get a chance to claw and scratch and fight back once again. We're in a hole right now because we wanted to win that game. I have no doubt our players wanted it and our coaches wanted it. But hey, it's not wanting it that counts. It's going out and making it happen. And we had a chance, many, many chances during that ball game once again to make it happen. But instead, we had to settle for field goals instead of touchdowns in the first half when we could have blown it out and had the big lead. We have to finally not almost make the play we have to start making the play. And it'll be a punt now for Chris Becker. Ran, they block it. The punt is blocked by Rice, and the ball is recovered by the Owls at the TCU seven-yard line. And the man who blocked the punt for the Rice Owls was Mace Meeks. Rasko's the quarterback, and he hands the ball off, and breaking into the secondary is Palmer to the 41-yard line before he stopped. Now the ball comes out. Rice recovers a fumble. And the Owls have it back. Third TCU turnover of the night. Rice gets the ball back at the Frog 48. Out of the eye formation. Roper's into quarterback, and he's throwing deep. And Lewis catches the ball at the 10, and he's down to the 5-yard line. Third down play for the Frogs, who have been beating themselves for the most part. Rasco rolling left. In big trouble. Throwing incomplete, looking for Jeffrey on the sideline. But again, there was pressure from Jeff Thomas. This is a very, very big one. Third and six at their own 41, down seven. Rasco rolling left, a block from Jeffrey. Throws Delaney, did he hold on? No. Dropped this one, too, at the 48-yard line of Rice. Rice leading 37-24. Frogs ball, first and 10 at their own 45, mid-fourth quarter. Rasco scrambling around to throw, looking. Throwing deep, there's Delaney, and it's overthrown by seven yards. Bobby Davis leaves. Tony Darthard replaces him for the Frogs, who now look at third and six at the 49. Rasco rolling right. Throws on the run to Delaney off his hands incomplete. And Rasco pulled it down and run. He'd have had a first down. Two wide receivers come right for TCU on fourth and six at the 49. Motion right, Jeffrey. Rasco rolls right, wants to throw. Underneath, tipped incomplete. Rice will take over. Third and 22. That bus ride is right. Rasco rolling right, looking, standing, throwing deep over the middle, Delaney. No. A wise coach once said, General Custer, hey, he suffered a pretty tough defeat one time, too. They said his scouting report wasn't really what it should have been. But I'll tell you something, the advantage Custer had was 
He didn't have to grade those game films. He didn't have to cut a TV show the next morning and take a look at it all over again the way we coaches do. But you know, in looking at those films, we did have some kids that really played well at times. We did have some kids that really went out and made the plays. David Rasco and company and Tony Jeffries and Tommy Palmer came in and had some great runs. And there are some encouraging things. Let's look at some of those better plays that we had on Saturday against Rice University. First and goal at the five, man in motion to the right side. They're in the I formation. And Comalander with a play fake rolling left, being chased, throws it is intercepted the end zone and run out to the 15 by Palanda Newton. They've moved it out to their own 26, and Rasco hands it off to Palmer at right tackle. He's got a hole up to the 34-yard line, a quick nine-yard gain. The Frogs at their own 43, and Rasco with a pitch right to Jeffrey with a block from Palmer, breaks a tackle 45 midfield. CU starts at the Rice 40, and the handoff goes to Palmer, and he breaks into the secondary near the 20-yard line. Now the Frogs with a second down and eight at the Rice 19-yard line in a rainstorm. Rasco hands it off to Tony Jeffrey at left guard, cut back up the middle, first down to the six-yard line of Rice. At the 10, it'll be a 20-yard kick. The ball is up, the ball is through, and TCU scores first. The score is the Frogs three and the Owls nothing. Lee Newman will apparently try a 49-yard field goal. The ball is up, it's got the wind at its back, plenty of distance, and it's good. Rasco, play fake, rolling left, looking, throwing, got a man, Delaney at the 45 of the Owls, out of bounds with a first down. TCU has two field goals, and they're at the Rice 37 on third down. And a uh, handoff, no, pitch out, left side, Palmer at the 30 of first down. In the veer on a big third down and 10 at the Owl 24. Rasco rolling left with a block from Jeffries, throwing, ball's caught at the 15-yard line by Wayne Waddy. And Newman's kick this time is on the way, and it's good. Third and two for the Frogs, and Rasco hands the ball off to, to Jeffrey, and he breaks over left end for a first down inside the 35. And Rasco rolling left, wants to throw. Pump fake, throws it out to the 45. Delaney stepped out of bounds shorts, making second down and eight. Ball at the 25, Rasco rolling right, looking to throw. Throwing in the end zone, Davis. Did he get down? Touchdown, PCU. Heck of a move by Reggie Davis with those nifty little drop feet. Lee Newman on to try the extra point. They're going to shovel pass it forward to Jeffrey, diving at the goal line for two. And they will go out of the split backfield. And Rasco will hand it off to Jeffrey. Left tackle to the 20, 15. One man to beat to the 10. Now TCU will go first down and goal from the 10. 10 men on the field for the Rice Owls. They don't know they only have 10. Rasco tosses the ball right to Jeffrey. He'll stroll in with a key block and score the touchdown. TCU one point away. All right. We didn't grade out very well Saturday night. We've got to go back and study a little bit harder and work a little harder. There's no doubt about that for that exam this week. And I'll tell you one place the Horned Frogs are doing better, and that's in the classroom. You know, after the game Saturday night, maybe that's what I should have told the media. I know we played terrible, but man, are we ever doing well in the classroom. You think our alumni would buy that one? No. I'm sure they're glad we're doing well in the classroom, but they also want us to perform a heck of a lot better than we did on the field, and so do the coaches, and so do the players. We are upset there. But we do want to see them do well academically. There's a young man helping our program right now by the name of Harry Weitzel. Boy, is he doing a super, super 